Hi everybody, I'm Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding factors influencing sampling process. Okay, the different factors that influence the sampling process. So what is mean by sampling process? Sampling process means the different steps involved in sampling or the different steps involved while selecting a sample. While selecting a sample, different steps will be there. That is sampling process. The different steps involved in sampling. So some factors are influencing this entire sampling process. What are they? We can see one by one. Mainly three factors are there. First one is nature of the researcher. Second one is nature of the sample. And the last one is circumstances. Okay. First one is nature of the researcher. It is related to the researcher. That is related to you. Related to the researcher, the person who is conducting the research. Okay. In that, first one is inexperienced researcher. Okay. The first factor that is influencing the sampling process is nature of the researcher. In that, first one is inexperienced researcher. Suppose if the researcher is new, it is going to affect the sampling process because he don't have any idea regarding the research as well as his experience in research is very less. So he is having the confusion which method he have to select and how to carry out the sampling process and all. So experience is a factor. If the researcher is not having the experience, lack of experience is going to affect the sampling process. That is inexperienced researcher. If the researcher is not having the experience or lack of experience is a thing that is going to affect the entire sampling process. Next one is lack of interest. The important thing in the research is interest of the researcher. You should have a interest to carry out the research. If you are not having any interest, someone else is compelling you or related to the course, it is mandatory. You have to conduct the research, but you don't like to conduct that study. If you are not having the interest, it is also going to affect the sampling process because you don't have the interest. Okay, so you will not do it properly. Self motivation is very important and appreciation is important. If you are not having any interest, it is also going to affect the sampling process. So your interest is very important. If you don't have the interest, it is also going to affect the entire sampling process. Okay, next one is lack of honesty. The next important thing in the research is you have to do the research honestly because you are trying to find a answer to the question or you are trying to solve a problem that is research. So honestly, you have to do that. If you are not maintaining or if you are not following honesty, it is going to affect the sampling process. The result will be wrong. Your selection will be wrong because all the fake things you are doing honestly you are not doing so it is going to affect your sampling process so always keep it in mind you have to do your study honestly okay that is the next point next one is intensive workload we know you are conducting the research in between your study okay you are doing a course in between you are conducting the research theory will be there practical will be there along with that research also will be there and in the research we know different steps are there so much workload will be there for the research so the continuous or the continuous workload is going to affect the sampling process you will get physically and mentally tired due to the workload so you will not give your 100 percentage for the research that time it is going to affect the sampling process a lot of workload is there and lack of time that is also a problem a lot of workload so along with that you can't complete at the perfect time so it is going to affect your sampling process so much workload is there means it will affect the sampling process okay next one is inadequate supervision <coughs> inadequate supervision we know that in research no one is perfect we need supervision we need a guide we need co-guide we have to get the supervision or they have to supervise us to do the 
research if you don't have a proper supervision of, or if you don't have a guide or a co-guide or else if they are not guiding you properly it is also going to affect the sampling process so inadequate or improper supervision the supervisor is not supervising you properly or a supervisor is not there for your research that time also it is going to affect your sampling process okay next one is nature of the sample the next thing next factor going to affect the sampling process is nature of the sample here we discuss regarding nature of the researcher all these points the second point is nature of the sample it is related to the subject related to our sample okay so first one coming under the nature of the sample is inappropriate sampling technique inappropriate sampling technique we know that different techniques are there in sampling probability sampling is there non probability sampling is there in that probability and non probability sampling so many classifications are there so you have to select the proper sampling technique according to your study depends upon your study you have to select the proper sampling technique instead of selecting probability sampling you have selected non probability sampling technique that is also going to affect the sampling process because it is a wrong selection your technique is wrong you have to select the exact technique according to your study instead of selecting the simple random sampling you have done the quota sampling that is wrong because the, it depends upon your study which one is more suitable to your study you have to select that technique so your sampling technique is inappropriate any mistake has occurred in the selection of the sampling technique also going to affect the entire sampling process okay next one is sample size the thing coming under nature of the sample second one is sample size so if your sample size is too large or if your sample size is too small it will be difficult to generalize your result okay so you have to select the exact sample size depends upon your study so your sample size is too large or if your sample size is too small it is also going to affect the sampling process okay sample size is too large also it will affect sample size is too small also it will affect the sampling process okay next one is defective sampling frame coming under nature of the sample next one is defective sampling frame so defective sampling frame also will affect the sampling process so what is sampling frame sampling frame means it is the list of all subjects in the population from which the sample is selected sampling frame is the list of all subjects in the population from which the sample is selected for example your study is related to pregnant women okay so list of pregnant women in that area from that list you are selecting the sample that is sampling frame a list will be there related to the subjects from that list only you are selecting the sample for example if your study is pregnant woman a list of pregnant woman in that particular area where you are conducting your research you will get the list from the hospital or from the health center or from the anganwadi worker or else you can create a new list you can prepare a new list also but it should be perfect that data should be perfect any mistake has occurred any error has occurred that is defective sampling frame any defect has occurred in that list some non pregnant woman will also come under that list just imagine what will happen your study is related to pregnant woman so defective sampling frame a mistake will occur so the sampling frame should be perfect if it is defective it will affect the sampling process okay next one the last thing coming under the Uh, factors influence in sampling process circumstances circumstances means related to the situation here we have seen regarding the researcher and here regarding the sample or the subject and here regarding some situation circumstances first one coming under the circumstances is 
lack of time we know to carry out the research to conduct the research we need time but at a limited period of time deadline is there by this time you have to complete your research what will happen it will affect the sampling process because there is no time to conduct the research proper time is not there you are very hurry to do that because there is no time anyway you have to complete the research but time is not there lack of time will affect the sampling process okay next one is large geographic area if your study is in a large geographical area for example you are conducting that study in india everywhere entire states in india you have to cover so it is a large geographic area lot of time is required lot of energy is required and lot of resources like money as well as the material is required so you will be physically tired as well as mental stress will be there this much area you have to cover large geographical area is also going to affect the sampling process okay large geographical area is also going to affect the sampling process because it will take a lot of time money is required material is required and you will be tired physically as well as mentally so it will affect the sampling process next one is lack of cooperation that is also very important if the sample if the subject is not cooperating for example pregnant women are not cooperating with you to conduct your research it will affect the sampling process as well as from the authorities like government side they are not giving the permission or they are not cooperating with you or the organization is not cooperating with you or a college is not cooperating with you or you are principal or you are head of the department or the guide or the co-guide is not cooperating with you that will also affect the sampling process so we need the cooperation to conduct the research from the authorities as well as from the sample if they are not cooperating it will also affect the sampling process last one is natural calamities natural calamities that means natural disasters while conducting the research sometimes flood has occurred or earthquake has occurred or any environmental disasters like cyclone has occurred that is also going to affect the sampling process natural calamities the disasters of the environment okay disasters occurring in the environment like flood earthquake or cyclone is also going to affect the sampling process that's all regarding the factors influencing sampling process we will meet soon with another video till that thank you and goodbye